Hi guys, so one of the things that's really bugged me from moving from the open sourcey world to the corporate world is the fact that they don't have email archives. So if something was said or discussed previously, it's really, really difficult to reference that previous decision or what was said, especially in Microsoft Outlook where you can only top post and for the life of me, I can't work out how to, and even, even if I did manage to inline, um, you know, bottom post, I'm sure I would get plenty of replies from people saying like, where was your reply or whatever, or it's missing something. So on the suck less web page, right? The archives are somewhere down here. Oh my gosh, where are the archives? Yeah, it's, you have to follow this little link here. And then you can look at the archives. Admittedly, they're pretty sucky, right? But here you, you can just, I don't know why, you can, if someone was saying something about something, you can basically pull out, I don't know, a, thir a 30 character URL out and, and send it to somebody saying, look at this. Perfect. Um, so it is a bit sucky, I must admit. and. I um, am actually responsible for for the suggestion on the Cyclist page, write a decent mailing list web archive system. I wrote one using Dovecot. I don't know if anyone knows Dovecot. It's like an IMAP server thing. But the cool thing about Dovecot is that it can help you index a large amount of email. So that my idea was that you use Dovecot to generate the web archives. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get there. I should probably revisit it. But if anyone knows of a good modern web archive mailing tool, please let me know. So I, I just wanted to also dwell on the fact that I've tried different ways of sort of sharing an, an, an inbox. Um, I use Fastmail, and there is this like advanced way of sharing your folder with another person. It's still not great because like the the Nirvana, the, the perfect goal here would, would be that like there would be an inbox and you could see when your colleagues are working on something else, you could maybe help review when something is being written by a colleague before it gets sent out. That's what I'm really quite after. As far as I can tell, those workflows are only accommodated by like Zendesk and other like, uh, oh my God, my kids, oh, hopefully I can filter this all out. They're only, these workflows are only accommodated by like, what do you call it? CMS's contact management thing. But ideally there would be a piece of software as familiar as my email uh, client, which where I could share the folder and work and collaborate with my colleagues and last but not least, have a URL to reference each product, each email. There is, by, this, um, by the same company behind Fastmail, a, a service called Topic Box. I set up a private uh, group and I just did a test mail right here. There is an option uh, to copy the permalink. The permalinks are unfortunately uh, you know, 50 character affairs. There's no way to make that private uh, URL sort of public, like like what Dropbox does. Because ideally I would be able to say, have a private conversation internally, but I'm, this is icing on the cake perhaps. Maybe it's not really necessary, but I would like to have a private conversation and be able to, to point to that private conversation to somebody else, a certain link. Anyway, I got what I wanted out there. I want companies to be more transparent, more accountable. And I feel, perhaps wrongly, a technical solution like what I've seen in open source world of web archives being somehow productized and employed in in the corporate world would really help just for getting work done you know never mind accountability and 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 transparency just get work done you know like 
What did John say about X, Y, Z? Well, here's a URL. This is what was decided. Was this thing done? Well, here's a URL. Some, uh, you know, Peter said it was done. You know, that's the kind of stuff I want. Because all the other solutions I've seen to these sort of workflow problems are just nightmares. You know, the whole forward all colossal noise mind mm, that you get from a general outlook experience. So anyway, if you have tips, please let me know in the comments uh, below because this is a problem I think that's worth solving. Toodle pip, please like the video so others can see this and subscribe for more random stuff like this.